Okay, now I'd like to talk about the frame dependence of stagnation quantities. So remember that stagnation is defined relative to some reference frame which may itself be moving. So the example that you should be familiar with from the first part of this course is looking at an airplane flying along at some speed c infinity and the air pressure is p. So let's say the atmosphere is still, there's no wind, and the airplane is flying through this. So what's the stagnation pressure? If you're an observer on the ground, where the pressure is also P. And for a sensor, like a pitot tube on the airplane. So for case A, PT is, let's say the speed is low enough that we can consider this incompressible, P plus one half rho C squared, but C of the observer is zero, and of the air, if you're stationary, is zero. So PT just equals P, whereas for B, PT equals P plus one half rho C squared, where C equals C infinity, and so PT equals P plus one half rho C infinity squared. So this illustrates that the frame of reference in which you find yourself affects the stagnation quantities. The static quantities, the actual pressure, the temperature, these are unaffected by the frame of reference.